here at the Port Royal Speedway and the 54th running of the Tusk War 50 is green. Rico leads the field in at turn number one. Logan Wagner goes high and drops the nose and drops the hammer. Nearly coming together with Darren Pittman and Abreu paces the field in at turn three. Rico Abreu will lead him in the three and four. Here comes Darren Pittman with a strong run on the bottom side of Logan Wagner. Can't quite make that pass as Logan's showing some strength. He'll settle in that runner up spot. You've got a battle for second down the back stretch. Lance DeWeese going after the four time track champion. 10 track championships represented on your screen. Lance with six and Wagner with four. Move Lance DeWeese to second at lap four. Rico changes his line and oh boy, here comes Lance DeWeese. Rico went through the middle and Lance DeWeese really chopping into that advantage that Abreu has into turn number one. Rico Abreu, you've got company in the four to Lance DeWeese. But Rico made a real good corner there in turn number two, able to separate himself from Lance DeWeese, almost making contact with the lap car. Here comes Lance DeWeese battling Rico off of four. You're going to have a new leader. It's the 69K of Lance DeWeese. DeWeese leads lap 12, but Abreu back on the hammer on the fence and trying to close back in. Rico Abreu mounting a charge at Lance DeWeese down the back stretch. DeWeese not running away from the 24. No lap cars now separating your top three. Still a great battle for the runner-up spot as now Rico takes the slaughter line away. But here comes Logan Wagner. He's looking good right through the middle. He's going to drive by. Wagner takes second away. Right now, it's DeWeese, Wagner, Abreu, Sisney, and Macri, your top five as they come across the start-finish line. DeWeese, mired in thick line traffic. Wagner closing this time by. I imagine the yellow will fly. Yellow flies. And now some more smoke coming out of the 69K. Yeah, you can see there that you can barely see the numbers see on Logan, the left side. Logan Wagner pulled up next to it, taking a look at it. Well, right now, I, Lance was waving for his crew over. He was covered in the oil and other fluid that was coming in on him. He wanted to get out of that car as fast as possible. They're working on the backside there of the engine, still trying to get word of what the exact problem is. We'll get back to you in a sec. Uh, that's, a that that's a lot of oil. That's a lot of oil. That's a lot of oil coming out from that engine. Lance DeWeese will bring him off turn number four. We throw the green flag, and we are back underway. Green flag flies, Rico Abreu dives down to the inside, Abreu makes the charge for the second spot. Wagner dives underneath, Logan Wagner back in a second, and here comes Dylan Sisney. Dylan Sisney has a run now on Rico Abreu, Abreu through the middle, watch the Valley Supply, number five right through the middle, and now here comes Anthony Macri. Dewey still contending with lap traffic, here comes Logan Wagner with a run off of turn number two. He's right there, Kyle Reinhardt separates that, your leader, that is a battle for the lead. Lance getting away, but here comes Logan Wagner back in the guardrail. Logan oh. Wagner tapped the guardrail there off for turn number four. Man, Wagner slammed into the guardrail. Lucky didn't break anything, or we'll find out here as the laps start to wind down. 15 to go, and Wagner's got to get on his horse and mount a charge once more. This time by three laps to go. Wagner showing some speed. He's within 10 car lengths. He's closing. Cut three tenths off that lap. Logan Wagner closing in with two to go as we come to the line this time. Here comes Logan Wagner. Logan Wagner to the lead with two to go. To Weasel cut underneath the battle for the lead at 54 grand. Give it back to Lance. He goes back down low. Here comes Logan Wagner back in the boards here in turn number two. He has a run. Wagner, he's challenging for Lance and give it to Logan Wagner. Wow, he's going to put two left cars in between him and Lance Deweese. Wagner floats up the racetrack. White flag flying this time for Logan Wagner. Logan Wagner looking to get his first Tuscarora 50. This is a championship season. Four track titles in a row. Nobody has been able to do that since Keith Kaufman. Logan Wagner makes his way off for turn number four. He's going to take the Ferris wheel all the way to the top and win the 54th running of the Tuscarora 50 here at the Port Royal Speedway.